was a sight for my soul. Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and today's the last day of my One Pout for a Week series. In case you missed the first few days, they'll be linked down below for you guys, but if you're not interested or curious, just know this week I rocked. I rocked the Elf Times J Kissa palette and I had so much fun this week, you guys. Like this is probably one of my most favorite One Pout for a Week series because I really, really challenged myself to use, you know, all of the beautiful shades in here and if you haven't seen this, you know, most of these shades are definitely way out of my comfort zone, especially like, you know, these two up here. Yeah, those are definitely out of my comfort zone. But I had a lot of fun creating all of these looks and I feel like I definitely, you know, like I said, stepped out of my comfort zone and totally created different looks every single day. Like every day in my opinion was completely different from one another and one thing I can say that I am pleasantly surprised is that no matter what color combination I, you know, went with, it all just sort of went so well. Like it was so, it was so cohesive, so well blended, everything just looked so beautiful with one another and I'm really really liking that like I love that I could pick any color in this palette any two or three colors or whatever and come out with a beautiful well-rounded look and for today's look I challenged that by literally using every single shade in this palette I told myself that for the last day I was really really gonna challenge myself and use every shade in the palette to see if I could come up with something beautiful and cohesive and as you could see it in my mind it is now the the inner corner green might be a little bit loud for some people but you know I think it looks beautiful like I really really like it. I was really excited to create this look and like I said I feel like the look came out really really pretty really cohesive in my opinion. I love the way that these colors pair with one another. Anyway that's all the babbling I've got going on for today so uh, let's just get right into this. Yeah. Okay, so I've already primed my eyelids off of camera. I just went in with my Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer. As I explained in yesterday's video, I really like primer with these eyeshadows, so that's how we're going to start this thing, okay? So the first color I'm going to go into is BFF, and I'm just going to be focusing this color on the outer part of my crease, um, bringing it about halfway in. Don't want to put this entirely on this crease just because I'm using every shade today, so I want to make sure that you see just about every shade. Now I'm going to go into Mac and Cheese on that same brush and I am going to be focusing this color just in like that halfway um, all the way into the inner corner area right there. Just kind of mixing it in a little bit with that BFF color. Now I'm going to go into the shade Danger and I'm actually going to use the brush that came with the palette and I'm going to be packing this in this outer V area. I'm going to pick up a smaller brush with that same color Danger and I'm just going to pack a little bit more just like again I want to be able to see all these beautiful shades shine through. Using that same little brush that I just used, I'm gonna go into the color Sway and I'm going to be packing this pretty much in the center of my eyelid. I love this color so much. I think this is my favorite shade in the entire palette. Using that same brush, I'm just going to wipe it on a little paper towel here. I'm gonna pick up the shade at 23 and I'm just going to focus this pretty much in the inter, inter, in the inner part of my corner here and marry it with that shade Sway. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love the way that that looks. That's like a whole look in itself. Like that's gorgeous. I'm gonna take that brush that the palette came with and just blend this out. Taking the smaller end of the brush that the palette came with, I'm gonna go into the shade Alien and I'm going to pack this all into that inner corner because that shade just needs like its own moment in the inner corner. Oh, so nice. And I am dragging that color just a little bit on this like lower lash line. Just again, I want it to have its own moment. It's such a beautiful green. I'm going to add a little bit of 23 just in the center of that just to give it a little extra pop. 
Yeah, that looks so good. I love it so much. And last but not least, I'm going to take the shade My Moon and I'm just going to use that same little flat like definer brush that I've been using and I'm just gonna pack that on that lower lash line. Oh, that looks so cool. I love this look. I did experience the tiniest bit of fallout here, but nothing too crazy. Just wanna tell you the truth. Now you could stop here like I'm going to do. I'm just gonna add some mascara and call it a day with this look. But um, if you have like a red liner, like it would look so cool in the waterline if you did, or if a brown or even just a black eyeliner. My eyes are feeling a little bit on the irritated side, so I don't wanna put anything in the waterline today. Um, you could also add, you know, a nice liquid liner on the top or whatever, but I don't wanna hide any of these beautiful colors today. So I think I'm just gonna like, just put on mascara, like I said, and call it a day. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed this month's One Pout for a Week series. Like I said, this has definitely been my favorite one so far. I've had so much fun with this little palette. Like, i just been so pleasantly surprised. Um, loving everything that's going on in here. And I can definitely say that this, you know, with like two other palettes in my collection, is one that I like every shade. Like, even that crazy, like, lime green that's in there. Like, I actually wholeheartedly like that shade. Especially in the inner corner. Like, it looks so cool. Definitely makes me think that I'm missing out on the rest of the collection because I didn't pick up the uh, blue eyeliner or the mascara thinking I didn't really need it, but now I'm wondering, you know, what those two items paired with this would look like. Maybe I'll end up picking that up in the future, but uh, for now, I'm, I, like I said, I am very, very pleased and very, very happy with this palette. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye